Hi, my name is Claire and I'm a post-baccalaureate research fellow at the National Institutes of Health. We all love sugar. It's a major ingredient in candy, ice cream, and other sweet treats that most of us love to eat. But did you know that sugar molecules are also found on the outside of many different types of cells? These sugars are called glycans, and they play many important roles in our bodies, including helping our cells multiply and communicate with each other. Dangerous bacteria and cancer cells also have glycans on them, but fortunately for us, those glycans are different from the ones on our normal, healthy human cells, and our immune system can detect those differences. When that happens, Immune cells called B cells make proteins that stick to the sugars on whatever threatening invader the immune system has identified. These sticky proteins are called antibodies, and scientists can use them to treat and diagnose cancer or infectious diseases. To do that, researchers have to identify a natural antibody that sticks to the glycan they're interested in, or they have to build one themselves. Unfortunately, it's not easy to find or to build an effective antibody, so we don't have very many good ones. To fix this problem, I go fishing for B cells to find ones that make antibodies that stick to specific glycans on cancer cells or bad bacteria. Just like a fisherman baits the hook at the end of his rod with a worm, I create molecular fishing rods with a glycan on the end to catch the B cells that produce antibodies in response to the particular glycan I'm looking for. Even better, these molecular lures glow when they catch B cells. The antibodies that my colleagues and I find using this technique can be used to develop new therapies, vaccines, and tools to diagnose disease. Seems like a pretty sweet deal to me.